I'm Adeline Bebo, and whether it be a big competition or just an average practice, it's so important to begin each twirling day in the right headspace. For me, I was able to control my headspace by being consistent with my warm-up routine. And they say consistency is key, so I'm inviting you today to warm up with me. After you're all nice and stretched out, we'll begin with wrist twists. I do five normal, five going to my thumb, and then five going to this backhand position that you'll see right here. I'll do five in each position on each hand. Next we're doing finger twirls. I go all the way through one, two, three, four, five, reverse five, four, three, two, one, three times in each direction and then again on my left hand. Next is my flip series. So I'll start with 21 revolution thumb flips in my right hand. Then I'll flip from my right hand to my left hand and go straight into left hand backhand flips. Also all one revolution. Then I flip it back to my right hand to do this alternating right and left thumb flip to backhand flip motion. Then I'll do it all again on the opposite side. So starting with 20 left hand thumb flips. into 20 right hand back hand flips. Then alternating for 10 total. Then I do this right hand to left hand thumb flip to a left hand to right hand blind behind my head. I'll do five of those before switching to my left hand. So I'll go left hand to right hand thumb flip and then right to left blind flip behind my head. Here's just the same thing, but I'm facing the other direction so you can see the blind flip a little bit more clearly. Next we have these side to side flips. In Texas we call these little Joe flips but you may recognize them from the speed drill challenge that was popular a few years ago. I begin with 20 total, so 10 in each hand going side to side. So right, one revolution, flip, catch left, and then left, one revolution, flip, catch right, back and forth, before turning around and here I do the reverse flip. So I reach across my body, flip it from right hand to left hand, and then begin once again on the left hand, back and forth. Next I have backhand side to side flips. For these, it's a one revolution flip, a catch backhand, flip it out, one revolution, catch in the opposite hand. So here you'll see right hand, catch backhand, right, flip out, one revolution, catch left. In this slow motion, you can see it a little bit more clearly.
Next up are head catches. So I'll release it in one hand, catch in the opposite, right by my other ear. So here you'll see a right hand thumb flip catch left with my left hand right next to my ear and the same on the other side. 10 on each hand of these also. Next up are back catches, kind of similar. I'll reach right around my back at my waist level and receive the baton in the opposite hand. Then we'll do some under leg catches, and for these, you will toss with your right hand first, catch it underneath your right leg with your left hand. So you'll catch it with the opposite hand, but under the same leg that you released from. Next up are Fujimi catches. So for these, you'll release with the same hand that you catch with, and be sure in your Fujimi catches that your back leg is straight, your front leg is bent, your back is straight, and your chin is up when you go to catch these. This is similar to the backhand release where I catch it and I do the one revolution flip out to get it to the other hand. Then we'll do Fujimi underleg catches. These may look similar to the underleg catches, but I like the Fujimi, you'll be catching it with the same hand that you are releasing from. So you'll release right, catch right hand, back hand, right underneath your knee, and flip out that one revolution to receive it in the other hand to begin on the same side. Lastly, we have these angel releases. Obviously, if you don't have your angel roll yet, you will not be incorporating this into your warm up. But for me, I had a lot of angel catches in my routines that I wanted nice and warmed up. So you may modify this to any kind of roll that you want to warm up. But for me, I did 10 angel rolls on each side. Next is a horizontal series. I don't do a lot of horizontal warm-ups, but for this one, I do a right hand thumb flip over my head, and then I do a backhand down below, receive left, and then I flip over my head. I do five of these total. Once again, this is totally up to you and what you're comfortable with. 
I usually begin with a toss, illusion, and then I'll build up to a one spin illusion, maybe a two spin illusion, a double, a one spin double, a triple, a one spin triple. This is free for you to fill in whatever it is that you're comfortable with and to finish off your warm up strong. So with that, we're all nice and warmed up and you're ready for a great practice ahead. If you liked this, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below to let me know what kind of things you want to see next. And until next time, work hard and be bold.